Hey everyone, hope you're all well. In today's video, we are gonna go over some tricks to make a landing page using AI. We'll go over some tools that you can use as well and seeing how you can make a highly converting landing page using some of the AI tools that are out there. So let's get started. So you wanna create a Shopify ID and you can do this with your email, um, you can do it with Facebook, Google, anything like that. Once you've signed up with through your preferred sign up method, Shopify will start by asking you about your business and about your brand. And this is just so that it can get help you get set up based on your own business needs. So it'll ask you if you are a uh, just starting up or if you're already selling online in person. And it's going to ask you where you'd like to sell. So you can sell on an online store. Um, you can also sell in person, social media. If you're not sure, there is an on, I'm not sure button. Um, in this example, we'll just stick to an online store, but you can cl click as many places as you want. And what do you plan to sell first? These are the type of things that you want to sell in terms of, do you want to do job shipping products? Are they products um, yourself? Uh, any digital products, things like that. In this case, we'll just do products I make myself and just click next. And then you just want to make sure that you signed into the account, okay? So once you have your account set up, it'll show you the Shopify dashboard and it's from here you can see a checklist of what you need to do and on the left is where you'll manage everything. So everything is separated, your orders have their own tab, your products have their own tab, your customer list have their own tab, analytics content, they all have their own tab. So it makes it really easy to kind of manage everything as well. There's different ways to go from here. You can either start by adding your products um, or you can customize your online store. We'll start by adding the products We can go through the setup guide. To start adding products, you can either click on the add product here in the setup guide, or you can go directly into the products tab and you can see basically all the products that you'll have to sell. Right now there's not any uh, and currently, but once you add products, it'll show up in this products dashboard. So you're gonna click on add your products. And you wanna basically just type in all the product details and everything's really uh, front end friendly. It's very straightforward. It's labeled exactly where you need to write things. So your title is here, description here, media files all in here. So you just wanna go through each of these fields and just type in all of the uh, product information basically. To add video files or image files, you wanna just click on add files and it'll open up the file explorer from your library and you just want to click on uh, the image that you want to add and you can add more than one images if you wanted to. You can give a paragraph here and it'll basically just type in a product description. You can also generate text as well so this is using Shopify's own AI and you can basically just ask it to write a product description. And you basically just type in the features and the keywords, the tone of voice, um, and any special instructions as well. So for example, play some words with emojis. And you can basically just get Shopify to essentially write all of your uh, product descriptions, and then you can decide if you want to keep it and you can edit it as well. Then you want to give the pricing. And this is just the normal pricing of the product. And then you want to just, if you want to make it a sale item, you can do a compare app price. So um, this basically will show up the sale item. It'll show up with the old price scored with the new price um, beside it as well. Next, you want to give the uh, quantity. And this is if you want to track your quantity. So you make sure you're not sh selling more than what um, you actually have. So if you type in 50 here, you can decide if you want to continue selling one out of stock or if not. Then you want to go into variance. And this is where you can add uh, different variations of your product. So if your product comes in different sizes or for different colors, then you can add that as a variant and that way people can select the size or color that they want. And it just means that you can set different um, pricing for those sizes and it means you can select different uh, inventory options for those sizes as well. So in this product, for example, we'll have different sizes. So I'm gonna click on add variant. I'm gonna click on size and I'm gonna do um, And you just each add each of the values um, one by one and just click done. And then down here, you can basically add different pricing for each of them and you can add different availability. So maybe there's 12 of this size, only five of this size and maybe 20 of this size. 
Lastly, you want to make sure that everything is uh, SEO optimized. So you want to make sure it has a page title, it has a description and it has a good URL handle as well. And then you want to look at the product organization. So the product organization part of Shopify basically allows you to uh, add filter and customization options and just means then uh, when you are building your pages, you can have a page dedicated to a particular category. So you can have a category for uh, men's shoes or shoes. And then you can type in a new collection. So we can talk about, uh, we can call it men's and click on create collection. You want to make sure that you have the collection saved, but you can have a collection for men's. And you can decide if you want to add the products manually or automatically whenever people are creating it. And now if you go back to products, we can have that um, set up here. And then once you're done, you just want to click on save. And then you, when you go back to the products page, you can see the products all lined up here. If you go back to home, it'll give you next steps on what you should do. So we have our first product. Next thing we want to do is customize our online store. And this is everything up to choosing a theme, adding your own logos, colors, and images to reflect your brand. So we're going to click on customize theme. And this is this theme here. So by default, we get the Dawn theme. Um, it's a really good theme, min clean, minimalistic theme. But what you can do is change the theme using the theme, li theme library. So there's a bunch of free themes here as well, and you can decide early on if you want to use this theme or not. Um, it's really important that you choose the theme early on and make sure that you have the logo and you have the colors all set up because it just means you can visualize your site a lot better. When selecting a Shopify theme, you want to consider factors like your brand identity, target audience, desired features, and budget. So take the time to explore different themes, read reviews, and preview demos to find the one that best suits your business needs and aesthetic preferences as well. Once you have this theme picked out, you want to click on customize to start cu uh, customizing um, things like colors and site settings as well as homepage changes as well. When it comes to editing the theme, you can there's lots of things that you can edit with the actual theme customizer here. However, for a more custom option, you need to look into the liquid theme development for Shopify. But the first thing that you want to do is go into theme customizer and you want to go into theme settings and here you can add in the logos, you can add in the different colors um, and typography as well. And you can give basically layouts um, spacing as well. So it just means then you have the theme of your website looking exactly how you want it to look like and just means the overall website aesthetic matches your brand exactly. When, as you make changes, um, you just want to make sure that you click save on everything. Um, it's important to note that you won't be able to um, you won't be able to uh, customize everything. If you want it more custom, then uh, you would need to look into uh, editing the theme files using Liquid. Once you have your theme customized, you want to make sure that you have other correct pages. So we, by default, you have your home page, but um, and you have a contact page. You can also add a page for your collections. So we have a men's collection. So we're going to call it men's, um, which is already collection. And we want to add maybe like an about us page. And you want to make sure that there's an about us page template here. And then you can add the content here and then just click on save. Next thing you want to organize navigation. So this is just making sure that the uh, menu is in the order that you want it. So we have the home, catalog and contact and you can decide if you want to add a new menu item um, in which case you can go into pages and you can see we've made the about us page. So we're going to just add in the about us page and just click on add and we're going to change the order of it slightly as well and just click on save. So you can navigate everything through here online store and nav navigation. And you can decide if you want your custom domain. So this is our current domain. And as you can see, it's not very user friendly. It's not 
easily rememberable. It's not great for SEO. So you want to make sure that you have a custom domain. Um, and you can do that through Spotify as well. If you click on add domain, you can search for a new domain or you can add a con existing domain that you already own. So you have your uh, account set up, you have the theme that you want, it's customized, you know how to set up products. The last thing that you want to do is pick a plan um, for your website. As you know, so you have a free trial of three days and then you can test out one of the plans for as little as three points a month um, for three months. And then after that, you would need to either choose a pay plan and pay it in full, or you can decide if you, whether or not Shopify is something worth paying for or not. To se select a plan, there should be a call to action on the dashboard here, and you can see a list of all of the plans that, that Shopify have. So there's basic, Shopify and advanced. Um, the advanced plan starts at 259, you have the Shopify that starts at 49, which is uh, one of the more popular plans, and then you have the basic plan. The main difference between all of these are the transaction fees that um, Shopify charge. So the more advanced your plan is, the lower your fees are, and the more basic your plan is, the higher your fees are. You can pay as much as 2% on fees and as little as 0.5% for all third-party payment pro providers. And then the other main difference is the uh, these features here, so the uh, number of staff members that you can have as accounts, how many locations, and then uh, how re advanced your reporting is. What's really good about Shopify is that they do give you that three month, essentially a three-month trial where you can decide if you want to stick with using maybe an advanced plan or if you realize actually advanced there's too many features that you don't need um, and then you can downgrade to a more basic plan or if you're on a basic plan and you try it for three months and you think actually I need something a bit higher it just means then you have plenty of time to choose exactly what plan would be best for you and make that decision as well. So the first platform that we're going to use is Shogun. So Shogun is a third-party Shopify app that you can find on their Shopify stores page and it offers a wide range of features to help create your landing pages, product pages and other content as well as optimize them as well. Um, it's page builder and SEO tool as well. Um, some of the key features that they have is that they have a drag and drop editor so you can easily design pages without needing to like write any code. You can choose between like a bunch of pre-built templates as well. They have quite a few templates that you can use uh, so you're not really starting in designing from scratch either. They have unique design elements like sliders, elements, um, galleries, countdown timers and they're all, all their widgets are kind of mobile responsive so you can ensure your page looks on great on all devices as well. Um, they also offer dif uh, different testing versions of your pages to see which ones convert better. They can personalize your content and they also have SEO optimization. So with their SEO optimization, you can get insights and suggestions to improve your page's search engine ranking and you can monitor how your pages are performing and identify areas of improvement. So overall, it's a really powerful uh, app that you can install on your Shopify store. From your pri uh, for In terms of pricing though, you can see that uh, it is, it's not a free tool. Um, so their plans start from about $99 a month, so it is quite expensive um, when it comes to uh, Shopify apps. They do they offer the paid subscription plans um, and it ranges in their price and features. With the build plan, they start at $99 a month. You have the AI page designer, custom fonts, uh, full library of elements, things like that. Then you've got the grow plan and this is everything that's included in the build plan, but you have more of the AO of the performance insights, um, AI A-B testing, and you can also uh, use the AI SEO content tool um, a bit more as well. And then the advanced plan has everything that the grow plan has um, with a lot more custom elements like the CMS collection as well as cust um, custom blocks and widgets as well. Um, but it does go up quite a bit. As you can see, it goes up to $499 a month. These prices are monthly subscription and they can be pricing options. If you click on see all pricing options down here, you can switch to the annual plan and that tends to be a little bit more uh, affordable as well. Um, if this is, 
if you switch to annual, you can see the $239 a month uh, for the grow plan and the advanced plans um, actually goes down to $399. So it might be worth investing in the annual plan if you are planning to use a lot of the more custom features. All of their plans come with a 10 day free trial. Um, it's not as much as two weeks, but there is quite a lot you can do with it. It means you can test the most advanced version of it and see if you actually use all those tools or if you're okay with then using uh, instead like the build plan or the grow plan as well. So um, it's a great way to see if the features are right for your needs and get comfortable with the platform as well. Um, so let's see how we can get started. So we're just going to get logged in uh, with our shop Shopify and we're going to just store, uh, search for on the app store. Then we're just going to click install and it should just easily install on our website, uh, on our Shopify site as well. Um, and then it's going to ask some permissions. So it's going to ask permission to see your customer and store information. Um, and you just want to click on install app and this will already sort of automatically agree to share personal information with this app um, and things like that. And this is the Shogun uh, section. So you can see the dashboard's changed a little bit um, and you can sort of see your stores here. Um, automatically it comes up all the templates. So you can see like the new Shogun pages. You can choose all the templates from here. Um, whether you want a standard page, if you want a product page. Um, so for example, if you go into product page, collection page, things like that. Um, and what you can do is you can easily create pages. So if we click on create new page, you can see, for example, standard page and we can decide. So you can see the template categories. They've got pages for home page, landing page, starter layout, sales promotion, uh, about and info pages. So if we go for a home page, for example, you can see we've got our home pages here and we can preview each of these templates and see which one we like the best. And you can see they've got really high quality and really professional looking templates as well. They've got templates with branding, then they've also got sort of like wireframe templates. So there's no kind of branding on it really. There's no images. There's just sort of layout sections that we can kind of work with and add the branding and images later. Um, so for example, if you wanted to add one of these home pages, I'm just click on choose template on the home page that I like name your page and include whether or not you want to include the themes header and footer and just click on create standard page and then you can see Shogun is loading and it's preparing the page and it shouldn't take too long um, here we are so you can see the editor it looks pretty similar to the normal Shopify editor whenever we come to edit the template you've got this Shopify section here you've got the preview of their website you've got the elements on the left and then if we were to click into a certain element you've got the element options on the right so the layout is still the same um, it's just a little bit more of a different branding uh, but yeah it's really easy now for me to just go in and just make changes to uh, the pa to make changes to the website, um, whether that's using my theme. So if we click on load my theme, we can type in the, we'll need to enter your storefront password and it'll take the uh, theme that you have set up uh, before. Um, but you can see we've got all these elements that Shogun offer. We've got the basic elements like H1 and H2's heading elements, image text. We've got structure elements to help structure our content, whether they're containers or grids. Um, we've got uh, more elements for Shopify, if you want to add images, image galleries, price for things like that. Um, if we click into the brand styles, we can use, instead of Shopify's branding, uh, branding editor, we can use Shogun's branding editor and we can decide what kind of font settings we want, what body text we want and the colors that we want to use. Um, and yeah, there's like block libraries as well. So there's pre-designed blocks and templates that we can use to build out certain sections of our website so that we're not having to create every single part of our website from scratch. We can just create it and see how it works um, that way. Uh, so it's really interesting. It's very similar to things like Elementor and Wix where it's very drag and drop, where they have pre-designed templates and pre-developed uh, widgets. Um, so it saves a lot of time in actual uh, development because you're not actually building every single bit bit 
section bit by bit with code. Everything's kind of already pre-developed for you and it's just up to you how you want to style it, where you want to place it. Um, so it's quite good that way. So you can see we've got the pages here um, and then we've got the stores section here to kind of see where our other stores are. Um, so it does change the dashboard a little bit. Um, if we click into CMS, we can go. We can still go into like our Shopify products um, and create more Shopify products and collections. So it does change the dashboard a little bit, which might get some time, need some time to get used to. Um, and then, but uh, once you have that, then everything's kind of laid out nicely here. You can go into settings and s change things like your storefront password. You can change. Uh, all the integrations that you have. So they have integrations with Google Recapture, they have integrations with so many other third-party uh, applications like Adobe Typekit for more uh, branding options, Klaviyo for your email marketing, and you can enable these as well. These are disabled currently, but you can enable these. Um, so it's quite flexible. Now we are working on the uh, build theme and or the build plan, so we don't have full access to everything, but um, Upgrading will then give you more time. So it's good for if you uh, want to just test out Shogun and see how the editor works for you and if you actually need all the features that they offer in all of their plans. Um, but it's quite a good kind of uh, platform to, to use as well. So let's talk about some of the benefits of Shogun. Um, we've seen it's a really powerful and flexible page builder. They've got the drag and drop editor, the pre-built templates, uh, custom elements, um, all of these content that you can add without needing to write code, so it's very powerful, very easy. You can optimize your conversions by testing different page layout because they have the advanced A-B testing and personalization. You can use the comprehensive SEO optimizations to get, get insights and suggestions to improve your page. Now again, depending on what plan you have, you might not be able to do this, you might need one of the more advanced plans, but it is offered um, as one of their uh, features, so it is really good. Um, by optimizing your pages and delivering personalized experience, Shogun can help you increase conversions and improve your bottom line. Um, they have a strong customer support as well. They offer uh, helpful documentation, video tutorials and live chat support. So they're always ready to help you get the most out of the platform. And as we've seen, you can integrate with loads of other uh, tools, marketing tools that you might already be using, um, things like Klaviyo to help kind of streamline your workflow and maximize your data usage. And the mobile responsive design makes sure that all your pages look great and function smoothly on mobile. Saying that though, there are some drawbacks that we've already seen, the main one being the cost. So compared to some of the other Shopify builders, Shogun is definitely more expensive. It has really powerful features, but the price point might not be suitable for all businesses. And while we've seen that it's very easy to use, it might be more complex than other options for beginners with no prior experience in page building. Um, and as we've seen, the lower plans does have a lot fewer features than its competitors at the same price point. So depending on your needs, you might need to upgrade to a higher plan and that might not be suitable for where you're at with your business right now. And the focus is ultimately on content and not backend op optimization. So it excels a lot in creating really impressive page layouts. They have one of the most modern page templates um, out of any builder that we've seen so far, but it might not cater to advanced users who need extensive backend optimization features as well. Um, ultimately, whether or not Shogun, Shogun's benefits outweigh its drawbacks depends on your specific needs and budget. If you are looking for a powerful and versatile web page builder with advanced features for A-B testing um, and personalization and SEO, and you are willing to pay the premium price, you have that in the budget, Shogun is really a great option. If you're on a tight budget though, and you just need kind of basic page building functionality, there might be uh, other options more suitable of it, uh, to you there instead. Next up, we have the Gem Pages app for Shopify. Um, so yeah, Gem Pages is a popular app for Shopify stores, and you can create custom, uh, high converting landing pages, and product pages, and other website content, and you don't need to write code. Um, it is basically like a visual page builder, um, similar to like Shogun. Um, and it's, it's designed to be easy to use as well. Um, Gem Pages is can help you uh, create powerful conversion focused pages and there's a lot of AI powered features and a visual editor to make it really easy to use. Um, 
The app itself, however, isn't um, fully free. So you can see down in the pricing, they've got four pricing plans. And while they do have a free pricing plan, it's essentially free to install. Um, and that will basically give you access to basic features, um, which is including one published page. You do have access to premium templates and a global style, and you still have access to email and chat support. This is quite a basic range of uh, features. Um, again, so the free plan really is just that it's free to install, um, but the plans really do start at sort of $29 a month. Um, everything in the free plan, but you have unlimited published pages. You can have a high speed CDN, um, and then you can have images layout three sec uh, 300 sections as well. With the f optimized plan, it's everything in the build plan, but with more features like a pop up element, publishing schedule, and then you've got the most expensive plan, which is $200 a month, which is everything that's included in optimized, and all features are unlimited, and you get priority support as well. You actually get video call support, which is quite a new. So, um, support system there. Overall, it is a little bit expensive. If you compare it to something like Shogun, um, it's still cheaper than Shogun. Um, the most it's going at is $200 a month, whereas Shogun uh, could go easily up to $500 a month as well. So let's take a look at gem pages and see how it measures up and whether or not the pricing is, in, is, easy, is uh, easy to justify or not. So this is their demo store actually and this is essentially what the interface looks like for gem pages. Um, you've got this set kind of section here, and then you've got the editor with all the uh, landing pages that they can have. So for example, we've got this landing page and we can sort of go through all of this um, and see what their demo templates are. If you click on see all templates, you can see uh, what kind of templates that they have and they have an extensive uh, template library even more so than Shogun um, and it's a lot easier to kind of figure out what kind of template you want in terms of lead, um, the purpose of the template, the page type, industry, things like that. You can also do it for product pages if you wanted to view the demo for product pages um, and see how that looks as well. So we've got the product pages demo and yeah if you wanted to add that it's just a matter of then simply installing the the demo and then see how that works um you can also just test how it looks on different devices you can see at the top we've got desktop laptop mobile you've also got a horizontal view as well which is also really important to consider as devices now you can view um, on different orientations as well so the fact that you can test that is quite forward um gem pages is a really powerful uh, landing page builder um, but if you need the most flexibility or if you're on a tight budget might be other uh, options worth exploring so let's look at some of the pros and cons so the main benefits of uh, gem pages is that it's a highly um, some of the benefits of gem pages um, main one is that it's a highly visual page builder so the intuitive drag and drop editor and pre-built templates make it really easy to design beautiful and professional pages even if it's for beginners built-in elements like the uh, countdown timers pop-ups interactive sliders all can help boost your conversion rate and sales uh, gem pages uses AI to recommend design layouts content ideas and even generate pages based on existing website or images and the platform optimizes your pages for loading speed and mobile responsiveness, ensuring a smooth experience for all visitors. You can choose from a variety of pre-designed templates for landing pages, product pages, about pages, and lots more, which you can then customize to fit your brand. And you can connect gem pages with your existing marketing tools and platform for a seamless workout, workflow. And a free plan is also available, but I would say that it's quite limited, um, but you can try out the platform before committing to a paid subscription. Following that then, there are a few drawbacks, um, mainly that it's focused on landing pages. So while you can create other pages um, and other types of content, gem pages excel primarily in building optimized landing pages. Um, and so if you're looking for an editor that is flexible enough for you to work on every single type of page, gem pages might not be the, the option for you. And it's also not as flexible than some of its competitors. If you compare it to something like Shogun, 
Um, Gem Pages offers less customizable page building experience, especially for things like collection pages um, or even just standard pages like about pages if you ever wanted to add that. And the pricing can be expensive uh, because of that. I think for larger stores with high page requirements, the higher tiers can become quite costly. Um, but overall, Gem Pages is a really powerful landing page builder that can help Shopify store owners create beautiful and conversion focused pages without need without the need for technical expertise. Um, but if you need the most flexibility or on a, on a tight budget, there are other options that might be worth exploring. Lastly, let's go over eComposer. So you can see that this app is specifically built for Shopify and there is a free plan available as well. Um, some of the other features that they have is this really diverse template library. Um, you can have various page layouts, uh, section templates, countless elements, things like that. They've built in add-ons like Ajax cart, color swatch, image optimizer, all of these things can help enhance your website um, and enhance the functionality as well. You can use tools for page analytics, global box, um, and you can build any type of page type. It's not limited to just landing pages. You can create home pages, collection pages, footers, uh, product pages as well. Um, and they have a really good live support, uh, chat support as well. You can get help and assistance whenever you need it, even during non-standard hours because their, their uh, live chat support is actually 24-7. Um, so they've got a good range of features and uh, what's different uh, about this one is that compared to other page builder apps that we've seen with Shopify, um, they do have a free plan that's available and it's not as limited as some of the other free plans that we've seen. So you can see on their pricing, um, their free plan, um, you are kind of limited to three pages. You can have up to 10 templates, 70 page layouts, things like that. So it's a bit, it's limited in terms of the access of the templates and what you can get. But then the most expensive plan uh, is about $149 a month. It ranges from $19 a month to $149 a month, which is some of the cheaper pricing that we've seen when it comes to these page builders for Shopify. Um, so it's not too bad and at least with the free plan you can get used to the template you can get used to the dashboard even and the build editor as well and you have a little bit more flexibility in certain in terms of choosing which plan might be suited, suitable for you so now that we've talked a little bit about it let's install it so we're just going to come to the ecomposer landing page builder web um, app page and we're just going to click on install you can also just view the demo store if that's uh, something that you prefer to do instead, but we're just going to install the free version and we're just going to give it access to our store and we're just going to click on install app. So you can see we've got the app settings here and it's the composer builder. So you can go through and this use the kind of onboarding wizard as well. And you might need to enable the sync between the app and the theme. And what will happen is then you'll see the new dashboard and you'll see essentially the dashboard for um, the eComposer uh, app. And there we go. So this is our Dawn theme that we're still using. Um, but we have our eComposer page builder here and we're just going to switch it on. And I'm just going to click save. And what you can do is sort of pin that to your navigation so you can see and just go through each of the themes as well. So you can see the different um, sections that you have. You've got landing page, template, Shopify sections, global box, and things like that. You can create new pages and you can use templates for that page. For example, um, you can go through each of these pages and you can preview them as well and see how they look and feel and be able to try um, the pages as well. So if we click on try this demo now for this wireframe, for example, you can view it in the demo store and add it to your to your shop. So you can see we've got the AI, the e composer here, and and just kind of view the demo as is. Um, it's a you can sort of preview different ones as well and go through category category by category and see which kind of landing pages um, suit you and which kind of landing pages you're you're happy with. 
So there's a strong set of features. It's a good choice for users who value kind of the ease of use and speed optimization. And you've got a good amount, at least with the free plan of templates that are available to you as well. Let's talk a little bit more about the potential drawbacks and benefits of eComposer. So the main benefit is that it's quite easy to use. Um, the drag and drop page builder make it kind of easy to create professional pages even without design or coding experience. Um, there's a lot of flexibility because they don't limit themselves just to landing pages. You can uh, create product pages, collection pages, 404s and things like that. Um, eComposer do prioritize page speed and that's really crucial for user experience and SEO. Um, they do have a wide range of features and their support is quite good. They have 24-7 live chat support so you can get help whenever you actually encounter any issues. Um, in saying that, again, we have to be aware of potential drawbacks, um, which also includes how limited the free plan is. As we've seen, there wasn't a lot that we could actually do um, in terms of editing and also while they do have a wide range of templates, we're only limited to a certain number of those templates because of our plan. It's a good way to test the platform, um, but yes, you'll get fewer features in the paid, paid plans, and um, that might not be suitable for serious users who need a little bit more functionality. Uh, it has a learning curve. While it's easier than coding, um, if you aren't used to page builders, then you'll always have that slight learning curve. Um, and again, for pricing, larger stores or needing number more of the premium advance, the higher tiers of your composer can be expensive. Generally though, compared to something like Shogun or uh, Gem Pages, it's still one of the cheaper options that we've seen. So you need to consider your budgets and your needs carefully. Uh, and again, the design flexibility, while it is flexible for page types, some users might find the design customization options slightly less customizable um, than the alternatives that might offer, for example, CSS control. Um, Compared to something like Gem Pages, currently eComposer offers a decent selection of tools, but its integration ecosystem might be sl slightly smaller. So if you have a lot of third-party apps that you rely on, I would check quickly if you can actually com uh, integrate it with the third-party apps that you already rely on, because it is quite limited compared to something like Gem Builder or Gem Pages. Overall, I think they offer a strong set of features, and it's a good choice for users who value ease of use but it's quite limited, the free plan. Um, I would use it more as a test um, or like a free trial um, and see how you feel with the features that you have, at least see how you feel with the builder um, and the features that you have. And if you feel like you'd benefit from more advanced features, then definitely uh, upgrade if you need to, but it's good that at least they offer the free plan because at least you can test it out further early as well. Um, and that's a wrap for today's video on how to make a landing page using AI. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and any questions or comments that you might have, leave them in the section below. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.